Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve for tan squared of 3x equals 3. So this is a multiple angle problem, and I've kind of explained you know, already how we did the multiple angles. If you're still a little bit still a little unsure, go back to that, and I'll, and I'll explain to you why are multiple angles and how they work. But when solving for one with multiple angles, we're going to follow our same process that we have done for solving trigonometric equations. We're just going to add an extra step at the end. So the first thing I need to do is remember, you need to isolate your trigonometric function. So therefore, I need to undo the squaring. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So therefore, I get the tangent of 3x equals plus or minus the square root of 3. You got to make sure you remember to always introduce that plus or minus. So now let's go and take a look at my unit circle. And let's figure out where is the tangent equal to the um, positive and negative square root of 3. Well, I'm just going to look for the positive version of the square root of 3 and see what we can add into it. So at here, my point is the square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half, square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2, and then 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. So remember, the tangent of your point on the unit circle represents the y coordinate over the x coordinates. Now, I've shown this a couple many times, so I'm just going to kind of breeze over it. I have many examples of me showing the work. But uh, let's go and take a look and see when will I take the y coordinate over the x coordinate? Will I produce the square root of 3? Well, when you go ahead and do your kind of simplifying, and algebraic properties, you'll notice that you're going to have uh, my angle is going to be pi over 3. Now remember, it's plus or minus. So we also need to look at the negative version of that, which would be at 2 pi over 3. Because at 2 pi over 3, I now have a negative x value, but my y value would still be positive. Now there's other two other coordinates here. But we talked about um, these are going to be your, you know, your multiple angles. We're going to be adding with these by adding revolute or by adding pi to our angle. Because from here to here, um, it's still going to be a negative x and a negative y. Sorry, that's the bell. Um, so therefore, it's still going to be a positive value. But from this angle to this angle, I just need to add pi. So I'll represent that in my solution. And then from here to here, it's also pi distance around. So we'll add those into our solutions. So so far, what we have is rather than saying now x equals this, we could say when 3x equals pi over 3 plus pi r. And then we have 3x equals 2 pi over 3 plus pi r. Now remember, r can represent any number that's going to imagine how many times you're going to multiply by pi. So if you multiply by pi once, you get to this angle. Multiply pi twice, you get back to your, back to your, um, your original point. But it would be an angle that's above um, two, pi, uh, 2 pi revolutions. Okay. So now remember, we're trying to solve for our values of x. All right. So now the next thing we need to do is just make sure we divide by 3 on both terms. So when doing this, what we're going to have is now x equals pi over 9 plus pi r over 3. And here we're going to have x equals 2 pi over 9 plus pi r over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve for x when dealing with a multiple, multiple angle solution of tangent. Thanks.